Hey guys, Joanna here and welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful, gloomy Friday today and sobrang ingay sa labas guys. Ang daming mga sasakyan kasi it's already 8.32 in the morning. And I actually have my tea here with me. May lagundi tea kasi yun nga, may ubo pa rin ako kasi pun. So this will help um, fight that or help it heal my cough and my cold. Ang tamis, ang dami mo nilagay na honey, pero masarap. Actually, yung lagundi itself, yung lagundi na, what do you call this, na leaf, hindi siya masarap on itself. Kung iboboil mo siya, tapos gagawin mo siyang parang cha. Hindi siya masarap in it, on itself. But, um, I did a concoction. So, nilagyan ko ng calamansi at saka ng honey. At saka ng ginger pala. So, yun, sarap na. So anyways, today I'm going to do a first impression and review on this product. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation that I received from my Pasolubong from London and Paris. So someone commented or someone wrote sa comments na she wants me to do a review on this um, product. So I'm going to do it. Actually, nasa paper bag pa siya. Tsaka I've been um, trying not to use the foundation kasi I'm saving this for someone who's gonna request me to do a review about this. So since meron, sobrang excited ako kunin sa paper bag at tsaka gamitin today. So we'll see if this foundation is really good kasi nga nakita ko nga sa video ni Alana Davison. I'm gonna link her channel below. Um, parang close lang kami, no? <laughs> Pero I'm gonna link her channel below if you guys are interested to watch her videos. Pero nakita ko dun sa video niya, nung ginamit niya, sobrang ganda. Pero dry skin siya. Pero ako naman, combination skin naman ako. Pero we'll see how this foundation goes well on my skin. So, if you want to see my first impression about this um, foundation, please keep on watching. Okay, so starting with the um, packaging. So, this is the packaging. Ano yung kulay ng box niya? Parang peachy pink, super light. The name is in front. And of course, andito yung diamond na logo ni Charlotte Tilbury. Tapos may mga gold, um, ano siya, reflect siya, yung lines niya. And then, nakalagay magic foundation. Sa back ng box, nakalagay ang claims niya. So, actually, I got the shade medium or number 8 or moyen. So, I don't know kung yung moyen is the French word of medium. But anyways, sa back, we'll read the claims. So, sabi dito, a full coverage, demi-matte, long-lasting foundation, um, enriched with hilo... Wait, I cannot read that. Again, enriched with hyaluronic acid, laricyl, laricyl, and the concentrated powder of vitamin C. Skin is moisturized, dewy, and pores are minimized. So, we'll see if that will do its job on my skin. So, sabi dito, application for flawless coverage. Apply with my foundation brush. Since wala akong foundation brush ni Charlotte Tilbury, I'm gonna use my own brush. Starting at the center of the face and working outwards. Finish with airbrush flawless finish powder along the T-zone and chin to control shine. So, yeah. This foundation says that it's flawless, long-lasting coverage. And then, sabi dito, it has SPF 15, which is good. And this contains 30 ml or 1.0 fluid ounce. So, let's open the box. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, super sick. Actually, I think Charlotte Tilbury is a high-end brand na ata siya considered. Ang cute guys, oh may malit na star dito sa box. Pag i-flip nyo. Anyways, you know what I mean. I suck at describing things. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, you guys. Ang ganda ng bottle. So this is how the bottle looks like. Yan. May rose gold siya na cap. And matte yung bottle. So, sobrang ganda. Very elegant and chic. Let's open. So, nung first labas nito, I think wala siyang pump. So, I don't know if this has a pump. O, oh, wala rin siyang pump. So, ano siya? Stick. I don't know how you do this. It's not a pump, actually. So, I don't know how you get. I think ganun mo lang makuha yung foundation. So, 
sticky yung consistency niya, as you can see. Sticky siya. Hindi kaya ito too dark sa aking skin. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna apply this foundation on my face. So, on the half of my face, I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender. And then on the other side of my face, or other half of my face, I'm gonna use a brush. So, we can see kung ano yung mas okay na gamitin sa foundation na to. So, yeah. So, let's start applying it. I'm gonna clip my hair up first. Kasi, alam nyo, nasa gaba lang hair. Oh, by the way, hindi pa pala ako nag-toner tsaka moisturizer. Gagawin ko muna yun, guys, and I'll be right back. So, my hair now is out of the way. And naglagay na rin ako ng toner at saka ng moisturizer. So, let's start applying the foundation. Kunin ko muna yung mirror ko para makita ko naman, di ba? So, let's start applying very slowly kasi... Paano ba ito? Well, ano, sa attack of my hand? Nilagay muna natin at attack of my hand. So, ganito lang yung kadami yung kinuha ako. And then, we're gonna apply that on our face. So, dab ko muna saan. Hmm. Medyo mabango siya. So, parang may pagka-moosey type siya. Parang lang, guys. Hindi kaya ito too dark on my skin. I don't know. Of course, yung... Sobra nilalagay ko sa leg. Let's get our sponge. So, dito sa side na to, gamitin natin yung sponge. Kaya so, naman pala siya. Hindi hmm. naman siya super high coverage. Pero, I think it's buildable. Covered my redness dito sa may zip ako dito. Na starting pa lang. It actually covered it. I don't know if much na much sa, sa skin tone ko. Pero okay naman siya. Sana I don't look orange on camera. Maganda siya guys. Actually, super. Tsaka super lightweight niya. So I think that's um blended already so let's get our brush and then we'll do the other side of my face so for the brush i'm using the nyx um i think this is a buffer stippling brush so we'll use this on the other side of our face disha dewy matte nga siya Parang satin finish. Okay din ang brush. Hindi siya kada nag-trick. Okay yung pag-blend niya. Same lang siya guys. When you use a sponge at sa brush. So you can either use your brush or your sponge. Wow! It's really lightweight. Parang wala akong gamit na foundation. <laughs> or parang meron na akong moisturizer. It's actually really good, guys. I'm gonna apply a little amount pa para makita natin kung buildable yung coverage niya. So, we'll get a little lang. Like, super little. Like, ganyan lang. Para ilagay lang natin siya sa cheeks natin. Parang super dark for me. <laughs> meron namang concealer. Okay lang. It's light naman yung concealer natin. Tinan natin yung buildable. Okay, it's buildable, guys. So, if you want more coverage, i-build mo lang siya. So, yan. Sponge na lang ginamit ko din para mabilis. Since paras lang naman yung effect niya. So, ito yung foundation sa face ko. Um, it's actually really good kasi it's super light to weight. Um, it's not sticky. Hindi lang siya dewy, pero if you have a dry skin, siguro pwede nyo na lang i-spray ng Fix Plus or setting spray or mist sa face nyo para magkaroon ng moisture. And you really just have to prep your skin before using this. So, mag-moisturizer kayo ng bongga-bongga. But for me, since I have oily and dry skin, so my dry skin is here. 
and my oily is on my T-zone. Pero yung dry ko naman, hindi naman siya super duper dry. Pero medyo sensitive yung dito ko. Mas nagda-dry siya dito. So, we'll see as I go on my day. We will see kung how this foundation will last on my skin. I will just finish doing all my makeup and I'll be right back with you guys. So, yeah. Six and a half hours later. Hey guys! I'm now back in my filming chair. And I think it's about time for me to give you the updates about the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation and it's already been sitting on my skin for about nine hours I guess so I did my makeup kanina morning mga 9 a.m. and it is already 7.02 in the evening oops 7.02 in the evening so hindi pala nine hours guys kung 9 a.m. yung makeup ko kanina so 9 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's been sitting on my face for already 10 hours. So I think it's about time for me to tell my thoughts about the foundation. Hindi ko alam kung makita nyo sa camera guys. Pero ang ganda pa rin niya. Kahit 10 hours na nakikita ko yung sarili ko sa mirror. <laughs> ang ganda ng skin. And actually nag-blot ako kanina mga 30 minutes ago. Yeah, mga 30 minutes ago. I blot ako sa T zone ko. I blotted the oil on my nose and my forehead. Yun la yung ginawa ko. Never na ako nag um, hindi ako nag retouch the entire day. And hindi ako nag add ng powder. Hindi ako nag add ng any product on my face. Yun lang. Nag blot lang ako kanina, mga 30 minutes ago. Uh, kaya ano, medyo hindi oily yung face ko ngayon. So just to recap lang yung mga activities ko the entire day. I went to my dad's office kasi nagkaroon sila ng um, free hair color demo. And of course, syempre free demo yun eh. So I grabbed the opportunity and I went to my dad's office and nagpa hair color ako. Actually, it's by the brand Lolaine. It's a Thailand um, brand. So, if you want to know more about it, I'm gonna link their Facebook page below. And if you're interested about it, go check that out. And actually, it's an awesome brand. So, go check it out. Anyways, going back to the foundation. Yun, so nag-hair color kami. So, syempre, nag-apply ng hair color. So, ba usually, pag ina-apply yung hair color, sinasama yung hairline kasi nandyan yung mga baby hairs. So, nilagyan kanina ng um, hair color yung hairline ko kasi syempre, may mga baby hairs. And then, syempre kailangan ibanlaw yung hair color guys, ba? So, binanlaw namin after. So, dun na nagkaroon ng effect sa foundation. Kasi, nabasa yung forehead ko. Kasi syempre, screen up yung forehead ko to remove the excess medicine. Kaya, uh, medyo nag rub off yung, ano, yung foundation sa hairline ko. And also, yung sa my forehead ko, nag-fade out yung foundation dito, banda. And also, dito sa may cheekbone area ko. Although, hindi naman siya masyadong ano, kita. Pero sa my forehead, if you look closely, makikita nyo talaga yung um, pag-fade ng foundation sa forehead. I think, yun lang yung nagkaroon ng effect sa foundation. Um, after dun sa hair coloring event, I went back home to eat lunch. So, syempre, walang aircon sa may sala. So, very warm kanina. So, pinawisan ako. I'm the type of person kasi na medyo pawisin, lalo na sa face area, lalo sa nose, sa forehead. So, di naman ako masyado nag super dripping wet, pero may konting pawis and moisture. <laughs> super nag-oil yung T-zone ko kanina. Pag uwi ko, nakita ko sa mirror. Um, ngayon lang, kaya nga nag ako 30 minutes ago. Kasi medyo oily. Hindi medyo, oily talaga siya. But, for the entire face, Super okay pa rin siya. So after eating lunch, syempre nawala na yung lipstick ko. Pumunta na ako ng work. So I stayed at the office for the entire afternoon until I went home. So umuwi ako ng mga 6 o'clock, I guess. So yun. Nung pag-uwi ko, tinignan ko kaagad yung mukha ko sa mirror. And yun nga, super oily ng T-zone. Kaya nag ako. So yung effect naman ng oil sa nose ko, naghiwalay-hiwalay yung foundation. Siguro dahil because of the oil. But the foundation stayed on my nose and also on my forehead. Yung dito banda sa my inner corners ko, usually kasi nagkikik dyan. If you're wearing eyeglasses, you know what I mean because I wear eyeglasses. Laging nagkikik yung dyan. Every time you remove your glasses, may cake of foundation dito sa my inner corners or sa side ng bridge of the nose. Which is very irritating. Pero ito, dito sa foundation na to, wala akong masyadong nakitang ganyan. 
meron konti lang talaga, pero kinontrol niya talaga. Wala masyadong takiness. And then, yung oil naman dito, usually kasi nag-oil ako dito, side of my cheeks, side of my nose, dito, hindi talaga siya nag-oil. Kinontrol niya yung oil, which na-amaze ako, guys. Yung eyelids ko naman, kinontrol din niya talaga yung oil, kasi yung eyelids ko is also one of my oiliest part of my face. Nag-oil siya, pero di siya masyadong yung normal oil that I have on my lids. Kinontrol din niya, which I am also amazed, guys. No wonder, kasi sinabi naman ng foundation, it's a full coverage, demi matte, long-lasting foundation. And long-lasting nga talaga siya. Nakikita nyo pa dito yung, ano, yung foundation. Andiyan mo yung foundation. Dito sa may temples ko, medyo may konting rub off, pero hindi naman masyado halata yung fading niya. Pero yung part, yung dito na part, andiyan pa rin talaga yung foundation dito. Super ganda pa rin niya, guys. Super flawless tingnan. Nandiyan pa yung highlight ko. Nandiyan pa yung contour ko. I mean yung bronze, um, bronzer ko. And then nandiyan pa yung blush ko. The foundation really stayed up so well. Um, for 10 hours, I I am really impressed on this um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Yung finish niya sa skin, very nice siya. Very flawless. Wala naman ako nakitang ano, foundation na nag-settle sa dry skin. Wala naman kasi akong dry skin ngayon. Yung zip ko dito na red kanina, covered pa rin siya. Mm, so far, so good. I really like this foundation. I actually really recommend this foundation. Especially those na mahilig din mag full coverage na full coverage foundation. But for me, I'm not gonna use this for my everyday. Since also it is a full coverage and it is also pricey. So I'm not gonna use a high-end brand for my everyday foundation and also even though it's a full coverage foundation and a demi matte foundation and a long lasting foundation it's not heavy on the skin and it does not cake I recommend this especially for those na yung may mga events and yung kailangan na long lasting yung foundation ito yung kailangan yung foundation this is for you so in total guys overall this foundation is really really good it's a bit pricey kasi medyo high-end siya. Pero I think for me, it's worth it to splurge on this super nice foundation. And the packaging is also very nice, guys. Tingnan nyo naman. Super ganda niya. For the price, um, my mom got this for £31. So if you convert that to, I think, 73 pesos. I'm not sure kung yun pa ba yung conversion sa pounds. But kinonvert ko kanina na sa 2,200 plus. I'm gonna link it also down below kung saan nyo pwedeng kunin to sa Philippines. I don't know kung sino nagbebenta dito sa Philippines. Itatry ko yung best ko na i-link sa baba yung mga shops or online shops na kung saan nyo pwedeng kunin tong Charlotte Tilbury na foundation. But yeah, um, lucky for me, my mom went to London and this is a London brand so nagpabili talaga ako. Kasi I've heard so much about this. And yeah, um, I actually did a flash photo na gamit yung foundation. So this is the photo here. So super ganda niya guys. Hindi siya nagpapakita ng any white cast na yung ibang foundation meron. So actually it's also good for flash photo. So I think that's all for my review and my first impression on the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. Don't forget. And please comment down below what other videos that you want me to do in the future. And if you have any other products that you want to review, ko, please comment down below. Let me know. And I'll try my best to do that for you guys. And if you're not subscribed yet already, please subscribe. So yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye! Thank you.